Hello and welcome to Snow and Mod Review. And today just came out. We have the 2007 Frogs Cat Eye Chevy Silverado 6x6, and yeah, looks pretty good. Just at the proving grounds, had a little go in it, and this one does go pretty well. So let's get out in the sunshine so we can actually see what it's like on the outside of it, and you can see. It looks like a Chevy Silverado with a nice 6x6 on it. Now, the it looks like a different setup to the Titan. Could be wrong, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. He's changed the suspension on that, and it does look really nice, and it goes pretty well. So, interior-wise, we've got working gauges, as you can see, but it is a bit, should we call it basic, as it were? But it is there and it does work. Right, I'm UK Gamer and I will be showing you all these options available, which we have the stock upgraded and high performance, which I haven't used the stock one to be fair. I've used the upgraded and the high performance, and yeah, they got plenty of power. And then we have gearbox wise is just the one gearbox upgraded. Same on the suspension, and then on tyres, we've got plenty of off road options. Uh, I prefer the smaller wheels myself, well, smaller inserts. And then we have a standard winch on there, which is autonomous anyhow. And then you can have the bumper on there, or you can have the bumper off. And it's also got a plough on the front of it as well. But the plough isn't working at the moment. I can't get that. There's no, uh, no function comes up for it. So it just does stay up at that height. So take that off. And then we go over to rims, a couple of different rims available. I just got those type, that was the same as the ones on the, the Titan, wasn't it? And then we have colour options. Got quite a few different colour choices. All the normal colours are available. And then your bobbleheads, you got plenty of them if you want one. And that's it, no more exterior customization, just bobbleheads. So, what does it go like? Well, it does go pretty well, so I'll show you eight in the proving grounds. I couldn't get my map to load up, so I thought I'd just put it in the proving grounds. And you see, right, let me show you the one with the the plough on. Fire that up. Go on, there you go. And then there's no function for it to move it up or down or whatever. Well, there you go. So let's jump back over. And give the Chevy Silverado 6x6 a spin. Now, you don't need a snorkel or anything on it. I have found that as soon as you put it into the water, it doesn't have any real problems. Well, there I am, I'm about to roll it. It does climb in and out of the water. So, because I saw there wasn't a snorkel and I thought, oh, that might make a difference. But no, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Now, we are in water as well, so. You can see we have plenty of power. But like I said, I haven't tried the stock engine yet. I probably won't bother. I prefer these a little bit more modified. A bit more power is all what's needed. But all the suspension and everything works on it pretty good. I did think that on the back was for a cargo slot. Now I'm not sure if it's the vehicle, but the damage it might even be just a proving ground to get a load of damage on this yeah it would have been nice if that was a cargo slot on the back of there now you can have the gooseneck if you've got rednecks um which one was it it's it's the dodge isn't it yeah if you put the dodge on there that's where you've got the gooseneck on then the gooseneck will be available but i haven't got that turned on at the moment so what we will do we will head to the left here. Now, one thing I have found with this is I put it up some pretty, pretty decent slopes, and it just flew up. You know, that's not even in low, so no problem. It goes over all this without any issues. You see, we've got plenty of travel on that suspension. It's all working away beautifully. Oh, bugger. Whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. 
I'll tell you what, we'll head off back down there because I wanted to go over those other obstacles just down the way. So yeah, it has got a little bit more acceleration than the other 6x6 because uh, I found that was a little bit slow. Of course, you put it into the high and it does get that little bit quicker. So let's go and put it through over these these obstacles here. I love these ones. Just leave it straight and then watch it watch it manoeuvre. Awesome. And I have not rolled the bloody thing whatsoever. I've been using it for what probably about a half hour or so before I do this mod review and yeah, I haven't rolled it, so it is pretty stable. See over these rocks and whatever. No issues, is it whatsoever? All right, let's take it over to these. Well, look at all that damage. Crazy. Let's put it into the these deep pits. Jobs are good. On. That suspension is flexing around all over the place. Fair play. Alright, let's carry on round. Whoa. Have oh, I got something stuck on me? Oh, no. Alright, let's go. Into a bit of high. Let's get past all this crap. Oh, yeah. That didn't quite work out as planned. I should have taken the other over really. Never mind, onward. No, we won't use high. Because I'll only end up crashing. So this is available on PC and very unlikely it will be available on console, being as we're not allowed anything Chevy. Well, we're not allowed anything really, apart from if it's in the game, so can't really have any anything. But there you go. You can see it absolutely flies pretty quick. And through all this water, it just mostly flies through it. No problem. Righto, well that's it for the first look of the Chevy Silverado 6x6. Or the Chevy Cat's Eye for SnowRunner. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And my stuff. Oh no, it's because I'm in low. Let's get out of that. <laughs> Typical. I hope you enjoyed this SnowRunner mod review. And if you did, why not go and check out my other videos? Got plenty to choose from. Thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.